Hangman asks, uh, hi, I'm wondering what you guys do. We have a, a VDI-based organization and moving forward to laptops managed by Intune. All have to build up from scratch. The laptops will be hybrid, AD joined. Question is where to put the settings, the GPO. A lot of existing GPOs do not apply or, or only partly apply, meaning I cannot just bind them to the new laptops that easy. I intend to build most of the GPO settings in Intune, export, import, and analyze to see what I need. Is there any reason to leave GPOs in the local AD? How do you do this? Moved all to Intune or leave a lot of stuff local in the AD? Well, really, I mean, it depends on what's the ultimate goal, right? Uh, you want to move everything up into, into Azure? Do you want to get everything off of on-premises? Um, you can have a hybrid situation where you use both, but they're going to sync. And you're going to have the GPOs available both in the cloud and on-premises. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense unless you have resources that you have to specifically target on-premises to keep them there. So from a, you know, just a recommendation standpoint, if the end goal is to get everything up into Azure, because that's where, you know, it looks like your world is going to, then um, it just makes sense to put all those GPOs uh, up there and have Intune use those. I mean, it, it, well, I guess uh, the, the, what people don't understand is that um, the on-premises AD is using the same resources that the cloud AD does. It's just that the, obviously the cloud, okay, has different uh, resources than what on-premises does. So you have much more expandability, much more coverage uh, when you're actually using it in Azure or in the cloud. And um, for this purpose, I think, I think that's the logical step. Um, but is that your ultimate goal? Or is your ultimate goal to say, no, we're going to sit on the fence and we don't, we don't know where our data sits and when it's in the cloud and we don't, you know, we don't necessarily think we're going to stay in the cloud. We don't necessarily have all of the SaaS apps in the cloud or whatever. Then maybe you want to stay hybrid and you want to have them in both places. I was going to ask, that. like, is there a valid scenario for that? Uh, well, again, I, to say the word valid, there are like yeah, yeah. many valid reasons, but like, like a common scenario for that i think you just kind of answered that at the end is that you don't yet know what your future path is going to be you want to ensure that you can get what you need to do in the now cloud only versions of some of the tools or solutions that you have yep. um, especially when you're managing devices because you could have devices that are located all around the world you know and they're not necessarily you know within your same domain you may have an acquisition, you may have, you know, something else that happens. It's a heck of a lot easier to do that in the cloud than it is to do, uh, to work it out with uh, different networks and, you know, having VPNs and having, you know, all different kinds of, of uh, forest domains and, and all that kind of fun stuff. So I think it's just uh, easier in the long run. But uh, again, you know, it, it's what, help, it's, it's what, your business wants to do, not necessarily what I want your business to do, but what your business wants to do. So. And again, without a lot of details on the VDI implementation, are they using Azure Active Directory domain services, a hosted version of Active Directory? Are they using traditional domain controllers or those on-premises or those cloud-based? Well, and, and then what kind of load balancers too? I mean, that kind exactly. of stuff. And yeah, so all kinds of questions. Yeah, there. yeah. VDI is, is uh, giving us some indication that they uh, are accessing centralized resources um, on servers. They're using laptops. So from a hybrid perspective on the laptop itself, over time that may become less and less important to have a hybrid communication or configuration if VDI is what's providing that centralized access to all the apps, services, you know, the, the long tail of um, managed services or, or um, legacy applications, et cetera. So it's interesting to you know think about should the GPOs go away entirely or should the group policy objects 
and uh, I'm assuming organizational units because that's what group policy objects attach to um, yeah, may I, go away. I mean, I've heard I've heard people talking about GPOs going away for years. It's kind of like it's kind of like uh, when Microsoft first came out uh, about four or five years ago and said that all the uh, MSCs, all the control panels in Windows Server were going to go away. Right. Um, guess what? You know, five, six years later, they're still around and they're not going yeah. anywhere. Right. Um, so it, it, it's, you know, to me, I don't think that, you know, you, you have a history and you have a, a, a long effect. Um, it's going to take a long time for people to get off of Active Directory. I, I even I remember rumors a couple of years ago where people saying Active Directory is going away. Um, that doesn't make sense to me because Active Directory is just more than, you know, what it is on premises. It, it, it you know, it's, it's, it's way more than that when you get it into a, a wider spectrum of, sor of uh, services like Azure. So yeah. I think that's why they renamed it Entra so they can get away from the whole AD type of, you know, moniker uh, that yeah. goes along with that. So, well, and to, from my perspective, maybe differentiate, you know, Active Directory and Azure Active Directory, in my mind, felt like, well, this must just be cloud based versions of the same thing mm -hmm. I'm familiar with. And they're different enough that I think having different names helps for a number of different reasons. You know, am I talking about OUs and organizational units? and group policy objects and you know everything that's been around since the year 2000 or am i talking about things that were born in the cloud and right. have different types of groups and uh, different types of uh, security mechanisms that type of thing yeah. i hate the consulting answer but it might be it depends <laughs> <laughs> right that's where mike started so, so you know it's going so well of these are, it, yeah we 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 say that a lot yeah. and we answer yeah. these questions either that or or not enough information yeah exactly um, <laughs>